I'm Jordan. And we're from Enzo Theatre Ensemble. And today Caitlin is going to be teaching me and us how to paint an Enzo. To get started, we're going to start with brushes. Obviously, it's a good thing. I gave you the, the super nice brush that we have for painting our like official Ensos, but I have a dollar store brush. And the idea behind that is that you can literally use anything. So the idea behind the Enso, the Enso is a symbol in Japanese calligraphy, um, and it represents a moment when the mind is free to let the body create. So you create the Enso on a single exhale of breath, which is which is that, that's like that's like where you're at. So it's meant to represent the exact moment in time, whether or not that moment is perfect or not. Exactly. It's just meant to be a, a, a photograph exactly. of where you are at the exactly. time. Exactly. So the Enso is painted in one to two brush strokes. So that means that once it's there, it's there and it's done. If it doesn't look perfect, then not allowed to correct it. Nope. It's just got to be what it is. Yup. Because that's what it is. Yup. So, um, to get started with actually painting the thing, I always like to take whatever hand that you're not, you're not dominant hand, you're not painting hand, and I like to create a sense of stability on whatever, on your painting surface, yeah? Okay. So I actually have my finger um, parallel to the paper here, creating that stability and just touching the paper. So the paper is still, your body is still, um, it just creates a connection between you and what's happening. But then you're gonna dip your brush into um, our ink here, okay. and you can use ink, you can use paint, you can use whatever, whatever you want. So go ahead and do that. How, first off, how do I yeah. hold the brush as I'm oh, yeah, yeah, dipping yeah. into the paint? Yeah, so um, so to hold the brush, so hold the brush horizontal to your paper for a sec. Okay. Um, and then you're gonna, your hand is gonna go um, perpendicular to your brush, and you're just gonna lightly put your fingers on top, thumb goes on the bottom. You're holding the brush very loosely in your hand. You really want to try to get it super saturated. You okay. want to get as much stuff on there as possible. Just get in there. Just like... Just dip just it in. go. Rawr. So now, with our stable hand um, in place, okay. we're going to pick a spot on the paper to begin. I typically like to begin somewhere near the middle, but like maybe in the lower half. Yeah. Sure. And your brush, exactly, your brush is going to start facing downward. Um, so you're, I'm actually like perpendicular to the page. Yeah. And just go straight down so the bristles are like completely flat on the page. And we're going to take a deep breath in. And release. And on that exhale, we're going to follow the brush all the way through to make that circle. I like to keep my eye on the inside of the circle as it gets made. It helps me to um, keep the flow going and to create um, a really circular shape. Yeah. So, yeah. So you, That looks really good. Yeah, and so does yours. Thank you. It looks terrific. So that's, that is what that is, and that yeah. is an, a perfect representation of where you and I are at. About 15 seconds ago. About 15 ago. seconds ago. <laughs> cool. The beautiful thing, right, is that you don't you don't even need paint for this. Like, I've created Enso's out of, like, rocks, like, in a circle. I've created Enso's out of votive candles. Does that mean that you're moving the things around as you're exhaling the same way we yeah, move the brush around? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So typically, um, it's just, this is part of my meditative practice yeah. in the morning. Typically, I'll have, like, my collection of rocks or votive candles or whatever I'm using that day um, next to me. Take a deep breath in and let it go, and as I exhale, I'll place them in a circle. Okay. Yeah. You could even do this at the beach, just in the sand. Oh, yeah, with your, no, totally. With your hand as a brush, and or I in the garden, in the We dirt. have this video of when it snowed here. I made one with snow. You could do it in snow. Yeah. You can do it wherever you want. Yeah, and that's yeah. the beautiful thing about it, right? You can do it anywhere, and then it's this beautiful reminder of how to stay present. So, um, go make one. Send it to someone that inspires you, and it'll be a little thank you for them. And so for you.